Hi everyone, it's Miss Carrie from Bridgeville in South Fayette Township Libraries, and it's time for vacay days. And what we have going on this week is an origami wheel, which is super cool. So let's see what you'll need. What you'll need is nine pieces of origami paper and glue. So let's get started. So you're going to take your origami paper, which is 13 by 13, should be a square. And the nice thing about using origami paper instead of construction paper is that it's thinner. It'll be a little bit easier to do. What you're going to do is you're going to take the, um, the angles and you're going to fold them towards the middle. Once you're done, it should look like this. Then you're going to open all the folds that you just made. You're going to take the tip or the angle of your paper and you're going to fold it to the seam that you just made. And you're going to do that for every side. Then close it back up. What you wanna do now is flip over what you've made and you're going to go to the corners again, your angles, and you're going to fold them into the middle like you did before. Then you wanna take what you have and you want to fold it in half, reopen it, and then fold it in half the other way. Open it back up, and then flip it over. And then in the little pockets, you kind of want to open these up. And I actually kind of just pinch them at the top. So from here, flip it over and you should be able to make it into a heart shape like this. Now repeat it eight times. So then you get nine hearts. Okay, so what we're doing next is we are gluing two of the heart faces together. And we're going to do that for every single heart or origami that we just did. So we should be doing this nine times. All right, and then once you have them together, it'll look something like this, and then you need to bend, and you're going to glue your two end pieces together. Once you have this together, let it let your glue completely dry. Okay, so my origami wheel is almost completely dry, but what's cool is that you can kind of scrunch it up as much as you want. You can expand it out, you can flip it, and you can make some really cool things with this origami wheel and different shapes and designs whenever you play with it. So. I hope you have fun with the origami wheel. Thank you so much for joining me this week. Next week is going to be duct tape squishy, so you don't want to miss out on that. Have a wonderful rest of the day. Bye.